Full accepting her accountabilities and being equal with our relationship assessments towards men by treating them better. A lot of women jump straight to the comments with the words, pick me. Stop expecting men to call and text you first. Pick me. Stop expecting men to treat you like a wife while you treat him like a boyfriend. Pick me. Stop being lazy in the bedroom. Pick me. Stop expecting him to spend money on you and you're not spending money on him. Pick me. He's trying to be what you need, bow down to you and provide for you. But it's slave mentality when it shows her and to submit to him. Pick me. A lot of men in the comments are agreeing. So why not try and learn and get picked? They also say, since some of us not married, our information is not valid. See, that's the problem. Y'all think a piece of paperwork going to determine if you're a worthy husband or wife. I'm going to give you all a couple examples. You're not a paper certified chef. But does that mean you don't know how to cook? You're not a paper certified mechanic. Does that mean you can't do breaks or do an oil change? Stop thinking women advice videos are pick me and stop letting a piece of paper set your limits. So I know this one. I'm going to keep saying it, guys. I will believe this information if these women just have men. You don't have to. You don't have to be married in the States. I don't plan on getting married in the States. You don't have to be married. But for women to really sit here and believe that other women should take the advice when you don't even take your own advice. I, she's saying some positive words. And I honestly believe she has good intentions. I promise you, I believe she has good intentions. But at one point, I have to question her mind. I have to question her logic. She says so many good things. So I just tuned in, but everybody got individual, every situation different. I don't know what you're talking about when you say just tuning in, but everyone is an individual. Well, everyone's individual, every situation is different. I don't know what you mean by that. But this woman gives out great advice. I won't lie. Her advice are great. They say she's staying in Atlanta. She's staying on this side of town. I don't know. If, you don't have to get married in the States. I'm, I'm, you don't have to get married in the States. You, you don't have to get married in the States. But you do have to have a man beside you so women can really see that your advice work. She said they call her a pick me and all this rah-rah stuff. I'm going to... We said a pick me get chose. I believe that. A pick me will get chose. If this pick me don't get chose, do we start questioning if she really is a pick me? Because there's women that will say all the right things, but do all the wrong things. There's some guys that will say all the right things, but do all the wrong things. If we could understand there's some guys that will lie. And they could still get women. But they do all the wrong things. When women find out he didn't, yeah, he lied. I believe some of these pick me women will say all the right things, but do all the wrong things. So the reason why I'm so against most of these women's giving out advice is because nobody is showing us hardcore proof that they're living by what they preach. It's not consistent. She's not showing us nothing. You got to show us something. I would never sit here. And you guys see me with some girl and she's disrespecting and embarrassing me. Y'all going to turn my cup. Y'all going to shut me down and be like, Sean doesn't deserve to speak. He's not preaching what he practiced. Well, he's not practicing what he preached. My bad. I'm not practicing what I preach. So if I'm not practicing what I preach, then none of my words are valid. And guys, you have the right to shut me down. If I'm not a man of my word, then what am I talking about? So at one point, we have to understand that these women get on platforms. Nobody's saying women cannot have platforms. Nobody's saying women cannot speak. But we have to question at one point, why do you say so much? Why do you do so much? Why do you hold yourself so high, but you don't live by none of these principles? Because once we realize that you are a fraud and you are lying, we shut it down. We none of your voice. Once you find out somebody's a liar, everything they say is invalid. Once we find out you are a liar, everything you said is invalid because we never know when the truth is going to come out your mouth. So I really, I got more content to this woman. She's a decent looking woman, stand on high principles to find a man, but then she, she don't got a man. Forget the ring. She don't got a man. Forget the paper. She don't have a man. So if a pick me get picked, what's wrong with her? What's going on with this woman? We have to ask these questions. They give us all this information and we be like, you know, uh, no man. No man.
Stop using excuses. A, a, a ring don't determine, a, a paper don't determine this. Where is your man? Nobody's saying you have to have a ring all the time. But where is the good functional relationship with a man? You don't even have that. So a lot of these words cannot be trusted. We disrespect our men during arguments. We get mad if they say something we don't like, or we throw a temper tantrum if the conversation not going our way. But we still expect our men to communicate and express themselves to us more. So try this approach. Baby, sit down. What's on your mind? Now rub his back while he's speaking and don't interrupt it. Stroke his ego knowing his woman is listening to him. If he's making reasonable points, don't try to argue it or say, I'm going to work on it. Say, okay, baby, we can work on that. When he starts expressing himself, give him the reassurance that he needs to feel strong and secure in his position as your man so he can express himself more. Instead of yelling, give soft-spoken solutions. Instead of being in competition to see who can hurt who the most, compete to heal, support, and encourage. Also, while y'all arguing, stop all that name calling and work on better habits after arguments like hugs, kisses, apologies, and adjustments. When people say you're not listening to me and we simply parrot back the words that they were said, congratulations, you're is creating an environment the other person feels your man so he can express himself. She said a lot of good points. I I don't know if she was raised her father. I'm not going to, I can't take a guess. I'm, I don't know her situation, guys. I don't know this woman. I don't know if she was raised by her father, but I would have said um, if she was raised by a father, she got brothers and stuff like that. They would have probably pointed her in the direction of a good man or a decent man or a man in, in general. The man would have said, dress a certain type of way. Be a, a certain type of woman. Carry yourself in a certain type of light because you're a reflection of me and I'm a reflection of you. So this woman said some good points the thing that i have a problem with is that i don't think the leadership that she has around her is good leadership i would have told her them tattoos that's random spots of tattoos all over her is not really it's not it it's not no 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 i don't the way she carry herself from her tiktok she's doing all these weird things this woman is a grown woman, and I believe she's in her 30s or 40s. The way she carry herself is that of like a 21-year-old. I repeat, the way she carry herself is like that of a 21-year-old. And I have to question who are the guys around you that's leading you to get this information, but not telling you to apply the information that you're speaking on. Because I would have said remove them weird tattoos on you because you have all these randoms is the tattoos are random It's not one flower is something here something here something here and then some it's just random stuff on her that don't make sense i have a sister i have to tell my little sister these are things you cannot do i have to keep her innocence i have to keep her away from certain lights of things because I want her to get the best man she can get. But my leadership can only go so far. But I would have told her not to do certain things because of her own good. Not for my good, for her own good. She says the right things, but there's little things that just make me question how competent is she. Because I have to question it. I'm just saying because you can't tell me about my relationship just like. I can tell you about your relationship. Who is this? Who is this person, bro? I, I want to know who is this. I don't know who is this on the live chat, bro. I, I don't know who you are. I don't know what you're talking about, to be honest. I just, I'm just saying, you can't tell me about my relationship. Like I can't tell you about your relationship. I don't know if you are you the person in the video. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I don't know what you mean by I, I don't know your relationship. Uh, unless you're the person in the video, I'm not. I can't even speak. I'm not speaking her relationship. So I don't know what you're talking about. But um, like I'm scared. Let's go to the next one. Like I'm scared, guys. Let's go to the next one.